Well, I was going to leave this grass a little taller going into fall because it ends up getting a lot of traffic on it during the winter time and if the grass is cut short it can't really protect itself and so when it gets traffic on it by the time you get to the end of winter it just gets kind of mashed down into mud and then you got to reseed again the next year so i was gonna leave this field tall on purpose but we quit mowing back at the beginning of september and the rain shut off we haven't had any significant rain in like two months so it just hasn't been growing at all so, so much for that plan. Mother Nature always has different plans. And then down here, I have mowed this because I wanted to chop the leaves up. This is where all the big oak trees are. And last year, I left the leaves out here. And what happened was they got blown into the fence. See the fence right here? They got blown into the fence. And then they kind of sat there all winter. Because you go over that hill down to the river. So... The wind kind of wants to blow the leaves that way, but they get trapped in the fence. So after sitting there all winter, they got wet and heavy and compacted. And I just about killed myself trying to rake all that out of there and mow it up when spring came around. So I thought, well, this year I'm not going to let that happen to myself again. I'm going to mow it all up as it falls. So that's why this down here is kind of, kind of clear. But you remember we had some fence posts left over after we did our fence so i laid a couple of them on top because we've got this dead ash tree here and it's got a really bad lean to it and i know that one of these days this thing is going to fall on the fence and it looks like it's coming right down here so this is the neighbor's property and this is our property and this is the corner obviously and it looks like that tree is going to end up maybe wiping out both of our fences and i had just built this fence and put this gate in i thought maybe if i just laid these extra posts up on top like that temporarily uh, then when this thing falls hopefully it'll hit that and break up before it mashes my fence and my gate and it looks like that's what happened because the other night in that big wind that we had a pretty good sized branch fell out and uh, I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but it smacked this uh, fence post right here that I've got laying here. It smacked it so hard that this thing was just kind of like laying, like it almost knocked it off basically. I've got, I don't know if you can see them, I've got just a couple of uh, nails run into the post there just to keep this thing from rocking back and forth and falling off the top of the post. And when that branch hit it, it hit it so hard that it, it must have bounced it, almost bounced it off there. It did kind of uh, dent See a little dent in the fence right here. You can see where it hit. That's no big deal. Uh, but it, it definitely prevented my gate from getting smashed. So my idea worked. Uh, unfortunately, that was just one branch. And there's a whole lot more up there. So <laughs> maybe this winter we'll get a good storm. And it'll blow the rest of that out of there. I really want this tree down because it's so dangerous. And... Uh, it's just at a bad angle for cutting. I'm going to go over here and show you what I'm talking about. The sun's probably going to be in our way, but hopefully not. See the angle that thing is at? It's at a really bad angle. So there's no way to cut it and make it go that direction. And you can't get a truck or a tractor down there because that's the hillside going to the river. So that's out of the, uh, out of the equation. So you can't make the tree go that way and uh, so it's gonna go this way for sure and but like i said when it does it's gonna wipe out the fence so no good options for going ahead and you know proactively taking it down just gonna have to let mother nature do her thing and hopefully it'll come on down in pieces would be would be ideal like it has started to do here So basically we're just kind of wrapping up some things for the year, getting ready for winter. It's gonna get super cold this coming weekend. And next week we got snow in the forecast. So it is time to start getting things wrapped up for the year. I went around and pruned my trees, got some branches out and some limbs out that don't need to be there. Like I said, I've been mowing up some leaves. 
had a failure of our TV antenna. We don't pay for satellite or cable TV. Well, we don't even have an option for cable TV out here. But I decided not to pay for satellite. We got a little bitty dish up on the house, but that's for internet access. Uh, so I just put up some uh, some uh, rabbit ears. Well, it's a, it's a Yagi. It's an outdoor Yagi antenna. And it's been working pretty good for about five years. We get, I don't know, 30 or 40 channels over the air. But recently it's gotten a lot of rust on it. It's getting old. I noticed the picture started to go out, so I had to replace that. Got to have TV for the winter time because that's the three months of the year I do get to sit around and watch a little TV. And uh, got this tree here that we cut down the other day. I've been trying to burn this stump out. It actually started burning pretty good. Toby's trying to put it out for me. <laughs> Come on, man. I've got some more sticks down in there. I need to light it again today, actually get it going again. It burned for about two or three days on its own. So I need to burn that stump on out before it gets cold. But yeah, just wrapping up stuff for wintertime, guys. Next thing you know, you'll see us out here pushing snow with the tractor. got the box blade hooked back up we use this one in the winter time to push snow it's a whole lot better to push snow with this than it is that land plane down there so got the road graded out now we got the box blade on here and we're ready for the snow next week